name is Wahomina Tiwadria, the District Director of Health for Impoho District. I've been working in this district for the past three and a half years. Impoho District is along the Takrade Aguna Road, that is 19 kilometers from the main road, and is bounded by five other districts. That is to the west by Hunter West, to the east by Wasa East, to the north by Takwa in Shayim uh, Municipal. And we are also surrounded by the Shama District and Ekma, as a Fia Kwesiminti Municipal. Impoho District is a new district carved out from Impoho Wasa East in 2012. The people are dominantly farmers and some may also engage in small-scale mining and petty trading. The district currently is running with 16 health facilities comprising of four health centers, one private clinic with a doctor and 11 chips compound. We have a current population of 56,959 that we serve. Um, surveillance is one of the key activities that we do in the district to bring health care to the people of Mpoho. And per surveillance, we do both active and passive surveillance. The passive one is done at a facility where everybody in the health sector, from the prescriber, mainly the PA or the nurse prescriber, the CHNs, the enrolled nurses, and all the people at the facility are trained to identify cases as they come. So most of the cases we are uh, tagging have case definition. For example, AFP, uh, for example, any child that comes with uh, onset, sudden onset of paralysis, any child less than 15 years, then we suspect. So mostly we tell these, we educate them on the case definition so that through the routine OPD activity, anybody coming for service at the facility is identified if they come with some of these conditions. We look at measles, we look at TB. We are also doing a project, Anesvat Skin NTD. So we are looking at yours, really ulcer, leprosy, and other skin conditions. So all these staff have been trained to identify some of these conditions when the people visit the facility. We also do case search as part of the active surveillance and that is we actually going out into the community to search for the cases and mostly the staff involved with these activities are the surveillance officers and the community health nurses. As part of the routine activities for our community health nurses, they are supposed to do two sessions of home visits per week. So as they go for the home visit, their target is children under five, pregnant women and the elderly. However, aside these targets, they are also to look out for anybody they meet with any of these uh, conditions per the case definition. A strong sub-district uh, collaboration and empowerment is helping us a lot. Every sub-district has a sub-district leader. So the sub-district leader is in the bigger facility, that is the health center. So those sub-districts, they coordinate the activities of the sub-district, that is the smaller chips under them. And they also give us feedback. We have a WhatsApp platform, a surveillance WhatsApp platform, that on a weekly basis, they report on surveillance activities that have been done in their communities and give us feedback so that we can also uh, track uh, them. You cannot talk about surveillance without transportation. I think uh, Region gave us some motorbikes and this year they've also given us extra motorbikes and the provision of these uh, motorbikes has also impacted on the surveillance activity because most of the communities we have to uh, reach are not plied by vehicles. So it's these motorbikes that we use to commute to uh, these places. Uh, formerly we used to zone the communities and the facilities with the bike when the bikes were not enough. 
but through the intervention of the region, that supplier with this motorbike, I think now most of the facilities can boast of one uh, chips compound to one uh, motorbike. We are expecting more, they've uh, assured us of supplying more to those who don't have. So we are hoping that when they also come, it will help to strengthen the system more and help with what we are doing. Yes, and we also have a, the staff commitment. I would say it is one of our strengths, uh, teamwork and uh, well-motivated staff. Our staff are very well-motivated, irrespective of the circumstances that they work in. They give in their best, and we also do a lot of monitoring on them. They are not left on their own. Uh, HR mm. issues and staff welfare is one of our key uh, roles that we play to make sure that every staff who work in the district is comfortable so that they can also give out their best. Because I believe rural work is a more of a sacrificial job. And we are just motivated about our vision to provide excellent and quality health care that is responsive to the needs of the people in Impoho. And that's what motivates us. So most of our staff are self-motivated to give out their best. We cannot talk about surveillance without mention of health infrastructure, logistics. Uh, what we are doing in terms of infrastructure is to lobby the district assembly to give us more chips compounds so that each community will have easy access to health care. We also have other partners and stakeholders like the Ben Soil Palm Plantation. Uh, they've been of immense help to the district. Uh, in terms of logistic support, so they've been supporting us a lot sometimes with transport means and other avenues for us to reach the people. So those are some of the things that we do to get the people on board. We also have some of the community, to mention IEM community, uh, Bomba community, uh, St. Tian community, just to mention a few and others. And these communities sometimes, through their own community resources, are able to put up structures for us and give to our staff to either accommodate uh, accommodate our staff or even structures that they put up by themselves to be used as chips compound for us to have healthcare personnel living in the communities to give them essential service as uh, is needed. We also have some community volunteers, some of the opinion leaders and the chiefs who help us when we need uh, people to ride our nurses around, there's no other staff who know how to ride a motorbike. So during our campaign, sometimes we have these volunteers who have given themselves up that any time we need them, they come with their motorbikes and take our staff to their zones and their outreach points. And I think all these people have also contributed to the success of, of the district. Uh, notwithstanding, uh, the directorate is also not far from our communities. We are always in touch with them. We do weekly desktop monitoring, monitoring of their indicators in the dams, monitoring of the activities that they post on the WhatsApp platform, and also trying to meet their needs in terms of when they need resources to work. We try to provide them on time as much as we can once their means is there. So that one is also the support we also try to give our staff at the grassroots level so that they will also be able to give quality care to the people.